Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we are taking a look at a new mod for Planet Zoo being the French-eared Oryx by Leaf. And um, here it is. And it do look, look a little bit like the Jim's book. But the thing is that it is, um, it is related since it is an Oryx, but it's also a bit different. Uh, the biggest differences are the shape of the drawing in the face. I will show you them by, side by side in a minute. Uh, inside of the zoo, and besides that, they will they also have the small tufts that is placed on the ears, on the tails, and uh, on the bottom of their feet, just above the hoof, so it kind of hangs over the hoofs. Uh, Besides that, they are a subspecies, uh, since they are called uh, Oryx specia Cali something. I, I do not remember. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to show that in a minute also. But they are subspecies of the East African Oryx, uh, just to make it even more confusing. Um, but let's get into the game here and... Uh, here they are, and general like this, they look much alike, but throwing them in together here, uh, we could take the male of the gems back here, and then the oh, male of the fringe-eared oryx, and put them side by side like this. Um, there the other came. And right away, there's a different, um, yeah, now it's the ones inside the butt of the other. Uh, now, this is the cream, or the more warm tone. They are in two colorations, what I found. Just pulling him out here. And a little forward here. Um, so, these are not, not as easy to see that they look alike. Because the color scheme is completely different. It's easier uh, if it's the same color, of course. Um, the buttocks are different. The, the gyps box have the lighter colorations. Um, and then they have these tufts of the ears, of course. Horns are different colors as well. And general just size different. Shape of ears are also different. Where the oryx col uh, ears here is narrow and long where the gyps box are more like these triangular uh, rolled up things so again quite a big of a difference between the two when you see them like this in the game side by side so it would be different and if you wanted to have them in the same habitat one would literally look like the baby of the other uh, if we pull the ladies up here we have the gyps box and then we're gonna take on the left and take one of the oryxes. And here you will see more of a... Um, they are more alike because the color tone is more similar. It's not the same color tone, but it is clearly more similar. Uh, the face uh, drawing is more clear on this coloration, of course, than the other. But you can see here it's triangular with the lines here on the side. The lines here on the side and on the cheekbones here are very much the same and also the one in the top. But here we have a triangle and here we have this oval thing that is just combined up here. The triangle is also combined on this uh, sides. The legs are also different. These, I did find some with white or white-ish legs, but not as white as the Jim's books. Um, so again, there is differences, but you have to kind of look for them besides the sides, of course. Uh, going in here, you can see here Oryx Spice Coloctis, um, which again, three names always mean subspecies. They are vulnerable and the population in the wild is unknown. They are from Africa, that only being Tanzania and Kenya, and then they live in the desert and grassland biome. Um, one of them needs 270 square meters of land, so that's quite a bit. Um, and 
They live in places from 3 to 48 degrees Celsius. You need a great four fence, 6.6 .6 feet being about 2 meters. Group size is up to 40, but if you have females in there, only a single male. Social hierarchy is constantly in flux based on small fights. They are polygamous, matrilineal, meaning all mature males will be kicked out. Um, it says related to alpha, but since he's the only male, I think we can figure out how it works. They are shy about humans and humans should not enter the habitat. Um, they grow to 5.6 feet, according to this. Um, being a meter and 80, I think it's maybe a meter and 70. I'm not sure, sorry. Uh, reach, uh, live for around 20 years and weigh around 363 pounds. Uh, live for around three years, sorry, reach sexual maturity after three years and can reproduce till they die or till they turn 20 where around they die. Uh, only get a single offspring every 10 months and are pregnant for eight. Should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. We have enrichment in here, grapple, herbs and market, robbing pillar and both ratching trees. And for food enrichment we have Grassing ball feeder, small barrel feeder, hanging grass feeder, and melon feeder, as well as the scarecrow feeder down here. Do not have any interspecies enrichment. Um, so yeah, here they are. And can we just say the babies, they are so cute. They are a little goat-like in the face. Ooh, before you run away, all of you. You can see here, a little goat-like, and they are very, very cute with the small horns. I really like that they did choose to make them with the horns. Again, a lot of animals that have horns are born without, and then they grow in sometimes within the first days, sometimes within the first, uh, or start to grow up within the first days. Sometimes it takes a few months based on the species, of course. Um... So yeah, I really like that they made these small baby horns for them. Um, they are a little cartoonish in the face, nothing that I'm mad about. We have a sh funny little line here on the top of the nose that I'm not a fan of. And then there's just something about the mouth that's a little weird, but I really can't. I don't know what it is, but there's just something around the mo mouth that I just feel like uh, looks a little weird. I will mention that the ear is, sorry, eye is very, very dark brown. Uh, and I do fear that on some computers it may appear black because I do not like black eyes when the mothers just give up and say, okay, we're just going to make a black dot. But they actually look really beautiful. So I hope you guys have a computer that can handle it and actually show how beautiful it is. Um, fur texture looks fairly well. It's not the best, but it is still quite good. Um, we have the funny little line down here that I don't appreciate. Again, fur should always go over the hoof, but the tail is beautifully done. You can also see now they're in movement, of course, if we can find someone that stands a little more. Okay, they don't stand still now, but now it's at least hangs. Uh, yeah, okay, it clips there. But it's so beautiful, and I do not see any hairs that aren't where they're supposed to be, besides the one that's clipping, of course. Um, so yeah, the baby. So beautiful. Uh, if we're gonna look at the adult, now the male and female model looks very, very similar. So we're just gonna look at one. Oh, why did I pause? <laughs> Dude, uh, and again, this is the cold toned one. These have lighter eyes than the babies, but there's a lot of shadow in the top of them. Uh, they're beautiful. We have so many different colorations in here that I really appreciate. The waterline overall looks good, but it does look like, especially in here, that it's placed kind of on top of the skin and the fur where it would normally be a part 
of it or at, in the same level. It would not be placed just on top. Um, I will also mention that I'm pretty sure that the horns are custom built. Uh, because when I look at this part, it would be very, very easy just to take the uh, Gibbs box horn. But you can see that's not there at all. Um, and we also have this line up the middle. Um, so yeah, fairly well done. And the fur also looks very good. And I think that even when we go very, very, very close like we are here, it does actually look good. Uh, again... That's really a max test for it. Again, the tail is so beautiful and I kind of want to copy this on every horse and zebra and every animal with tassel on the tail that we have in the game. I want them to have this tail because it's just very well done. What I am a little mad about though is down here. These should have tufts on their feet going over the hoofs. And not only like small hair strands like most animals, but actual dark tufts down here uh, and they don't. But that's actually my own thing that I'm actually really mad about. Uh, overall, again, the, they are a little smaller than uh, some of the other species we have in here, but of the antelope variety, but they do look good and I do feel like they... They are something that you really could make something fun with. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, link below to the Nexus where you can download the mod. A video by Leaf on how to install mods into your game. And my Patreon and my Instagram and all of this. So, as always guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. So you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.